Hello everyone, I'm back playing Spirit Fair today. My name is March, you can call me Marchlin, and I hope you're as excited as I am. So I left the island that I left off on last time, the one that had Alice. Still haven't figured out how we're going to get a sheep to that island for her, but in the meantime, I'm going to run a bunch of errands. I'm going to get a bunch of busy work done. We're going to knock it out. It's going to be over in the blink of an eye for you. Um, also, it's like eclipsed here and very pretty. <laughs> Yeah, so with that, I'm going to hit up some resource spots. I wonder if all these areas are eclipsed. Whoa, whoa. What was that? Okay, we made it to Albert Shipyard. I ran a whole bunch of resource gathering errands, and thanks to Francis's shenanigan packages, I think I have enough to purchase the next ship upgrade. Just enough, in fact. Uh, what else do we need, though? The craftsman? Oh, that's a sheep corral! We need that! That's how we get the sheep on our ship! We need the sheep corral. Okay, wait, hold on. I want I want it all. I want I want the bigger boat. I want the sheep corral. I want the mailbox. I'll be right back. All right, I have returns. Now I have enough, thanks to Francis once again, to get the bigger boat. Boom. Uh, the next boat is sixteen thousand. Wow. Okay. Uh, the craftsman station so we can make a windmill an orchard but most importantly the sheep corral i don't have the resources for this one there's gonna be a chicken coop later oh that's exciting okay one day one day and finally finally albert we are purchasing the mailbox i hope you're happy with us all right have a good life shark we've got a mailbox and apparently with it comes a request a letter from albert Stella, make sure you change your address permanently. You'll have more letters coming shortly. I have no idea how to change my permanent address, but I'm sure I'm sure it'll take care of itself. For I am the spirit bearer. And my food never burns. Well, now that it's night and our spirits are asleep, I I think. Is that asleep? Uh let's let's move some stuff on the boat. We did get the blueprints for improving our kitchen last time, but I believe that requires yes linen fabric which i don't have and don't know how to make and in addition to that i think that i have to improve the loom to make that linen fabric and i don't have the blueprint for that that sounds like something that might come from gwen but at the same time i'm afraid to do any of gwen's missions whoa our boat can get so tall now <laughs> this is gonna look horrible all right, we have decked out Summer Sanctuary with more plants and crystals and everything she loves. She's going to wake up and feel very happy about that. Uh, and now for my fun, I have to move everything on the boat somewhere else. So I'm going to work on this for a moment. Also, before I forget, we should build the sheep corral. I don't know how we're going to get a sheep up there, but we're going to get a sheep up there. All right, you're going to live there for now, buddy. I got nothing to do with you. Uh, yeah, this bigger boat was definitely the play. I've got so much more room and flexibility now. And the ship is not as tall as I feared it was going to be. It actually kind of looks a lot better. Not great, but better. And now we have a sheep pen. Oh yeah, and a letter. <laughs> I forgot about that. Ooh, two letters. Dear customer, due to an unforeseen supply shortage at our bottom line corp depot, Raccoon Inc. will no longer be able to apply our special rebate program for reoccurring customers. Please know that it is with great regret that we have to inform you of this situation and rest assured value customer of our continuous efforts to improve it. Got it. And also, I don't care. Oh, and a protest flyer. Workers unite. You are done being paid unfair wages. You are done being exploited for the benefits of the upper class. Say no to capitalist abuse. Rally to our cause at Bottom Line Corp. Union for working denizens. It's a story told in two parts. All right, well, we came all the way back over here to do all those things. And now we need a sheep. 
I noticed earlier while I was fussing around with resources and things like that, that look at this. We have a brand new resource we can find in some places that we've been, and it is sheep. So we could head to Hummingbird, and we could grab a sheep there. But let's be honest, if we do that, then the upstairs club is going to be all the worse. So I think I'll leave them their sheep. And instead, we can pick up a sheep from, um, it was this island right here. So we're going to head back over there. We're going to grab that sheep. And then we're going to pick up Alice, I think. And in order to do that, <laughs> let's try out the bus stop. Hello, Alex. I would like to travel, please. I don't know what your services cost, and I'm sure we'll discuss that in a moment. But please take me to this bus stop. I was not expecting any of this. <laughs> oh. I think Alex is a magical seal. Did, did, are we there? Wait, did, did you move us in like a fraction of a second? Oh my gosh, you did. Alex, you're amazing. Did you even charge for this service? What an amazing Alex. We have made it to the island. Let's go see what we have to do to kidnap the sheep. This is kidnapping, right? <laughs> oh no, wait, that's a goat. We shall feed you the honorary uh, treat of linen. Did it work? Are you, are you mine forever? You are mine forever! <laughs> I may not be able to hug you, but I can take you on my ship. Honestly, that's so relatable. If someone fed me, I'd probably follow them. <laughs> what is that? About? About? Yeah, you want to come with? Come on! Yes! Look at this floof! Yeah, we're going. We're going places together. Oh, and there you are! Now you're being all floof in here! Why is the sheep, like, emanating dark energies? <laughs> Do we find an evil sheep? That's okay. Um, I'll either uh, sway you to the side of the light or join you in the darkness. <laughs> Right, 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 right. So now we're heading back to Mount Toroyama, where I think we'll be able to deliver this sheep. All right, how does this work? I have a sheep on my ship. <laughs> how do we get the sheep off my ship? The sheep is off my ship. Well, I'm glad this is all working out. I've brought you a friend. Ooh. Anyway, Alice, I did it. Oh. You brought a second sheep. Oh, look at them. They'll be so happy together. Oh, they're acting kind of coldly. That's surprising. Well, they just have to get to know each other. I'm sure they'll be the best of friends in no time. As for me, well, it was nice feeling needed. What? You want me to join you in your travels? Oh, no. No, no, no. I couldn't possibly impose myself on all of you. Besides, I'm sure there's no room for me. For sure, this island is a little bare, but I'm sure a little house could fit quite nicely here. A little bungalow with nice vines and potted flowers, maybe? With pale tones and a cozy cottage facade? Oh, and green window shades. <laughs> that would be so wonderful. Sorry, I was just lost in my thoughts. No, you go ahead. I'll be fine here. So we have to build Alice a cottage first! No more guest house. People just don't use it anymore. We're done with that. You can't stop me. I'm gonna do it. What does it take to build your cottage? Iron ore? Okay, that can stop me. That can stop me. Ah, oh, where do I get the iron? Shoot. I'm gonna have to go find it. Alice! All right, I'm gonna go check Alice's mountain one more time because, I mean, there were a lot of, like, mining nodes in there. Uh, maybe I missed some. Yeah, there just seems to be coal here, and I think there's also, like... Was it slate or something? Shale? No, that's not. That's a rock. These are rocks. Slate. It's slate. There's no iron here, or at least none that I can access. Dude, Alice? <laughs> Alice? I gave up a sheep for you! Oh, wise and powerful map. Tell me, where do I find iron? Maybe in this quarry! Let's go hit up the quarry! The map has spoken. Ooh, Summer's playing her instrument again. I think that's a sitar. 
I, I, I hunt daffodil. It's been a while since I've accidentally done that. Oh, and we missed Summer playing her sitar. Rats. But we made it to the quarry. It's dark in here. Although it's a quarry, I guess I don't know what else I expected. Well, that was coal. So not what I want. I just noticed that we're lighting up the lanterns as we pass by. That's pretty fun. I guess the Everlight's doing that. Found another person. All right, you got to get it together, Gregory. This is your day. Today is all about digging. <laughs> Any problems you have, you leave at the door. This is a new day. Big breath. I don't know what you're gearing up for, Gregory, other than just digging, but you know what? You've got it, friends. You've got it. If you need any help, let me know. I'm, I'm starting to get good at this. All right, we found iron. We found eight of them. Well, that's going to take care of our iron problem for a little bit. Gregory, I'm like an expert now. Uh, so much so that I accidentally find treasure. That's cool. I got an amethyst. <laughs> I bet Summer would like that. I'm afraid to give Summer anything. What if she leaves me? If I give her three crystals, what happens then? Oh, I found another person. Hmm. My manager is really stressed out. Is that Gregory? He told me to be quiet today. I shouldn't even be talking to you. That's... that's... Hmm. I don't know if he has that power. When you don't see the sun, you can imagine it's always noon. That's what my boss says at meetings. Your boss doesn't sound like a great person. Unless, of course, your boss is just trying to make the best of a bad situation, in which case, I guess I can respect that, but why doesn't your boss have the power to change? Okay. <laughs> Management is coming today. I better make a good impression. I've been practicing my business face mm -hmm. and all. Hopefully they notice me in all this darkness. From this mine to the boardroom. Moving on up. Oh, so it's not Gregory. Gregory's stressed because probably management is coming. What's this thing? It's like a book here. Uh, Davidal? Oh, there's just books here. Why are there just books here? Don't think I didn't notice this. I did. I did notice it. Here, let's just give you some light. Oh no. Listen, I've been working here for 10 years. I dug this little hole to read a few months ago. Uh -huh. Don't tell anyone. You need to play cool. I can't lose this uh -huh. job. I also can't afford to work that hard. My back really hurts. Take this. Mm -hmm. Call it a bribe if you want. Wow. Um, I didn't need this and I would have kept your secret, but I'm okay with this. Well, this is a fun place. Uh, Gregory, you've got this and um, don't, don't let them get to you. Okay, back on the boat. Let's cook up that ore, build Alice a cottage, go pick her up, uh, and we'll have a fourth member on the crew. Come on. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> I was trying to open my tea. I don't know why, but these pop caps are so hard. So Alice's cottage looks adorable and will fit perfectly atop the sawmill, where I'm sure she would want it. Yep. Oh my gosh, Alice's cottage looks so good! I want to live here. I love this place. This is great. Oh, Alice, you lucky, lucky spirit. I don't know what you are yet, but it's gonna be- oh, I'm so excited! I'm so excited! Alice, I built you a house. What do you say to that? What? You built a house? For me? You you shouldn't have, really. But since it's there... Well, I guess it'd be rude of me not to move in. Thank you so very much, sweetheart. I'll see you back on the ship. We'll find out what you are. Uh, in the meantime, though. <laughs> Can I go in this house? It is locked. I wonder what would unlock it. Also, where did your sheep friend go? Wait, where's your sheep friend? Well, there was only one sheep here. Wait, the sheep's on my boat. Are you coming with Alice? We can't just take one sheep. We have to take both sheep. Okay, I think we have two sheep. I don't know what's happening. You were just going to leave one of the sheep behind? 
Okay, we have one sheep in here. What are the other sheep? I'm so confused. Oh, there's the sheep. What? what? All right, we just have roving sheep on board and I'm roving, roaming, and I'm very okay with it. Uh, and now we're about to see Alice do her thing, I think. What is this? Oh, a little ceremony. All right, I'll try to do my best. You are not a sheep, but you are adorable. What, are you a, like a mole or a vole or a shrew? To be honest with you, I don't know the difference between most of those. I do, I do know the mole. Oh, this is really pleasant. Soft as a waffle and warm as a pie. <laughs> I feel young again. Thank you so much for having found me, young one. Don't worry about me now. I'll find my way around. Oh, we get the oval right away. Oh, and you just, you just lose all fours. Look at you. And your cute hat. Would you look at that, Stella? This little sheep wanted to come with us. I guess it didn't like its new companion very much after all. Well, no worry. We'll take good care of you. But first, all this wool. It looks quite uncomfortable, doesn't it? And, oh, oh no, we're on a boat. It's like that story with the flock of sheep that fell off a boat. Wait, that's a story? That sounds awful. Oh, we can't have that. Go ahead, Stella. Shear the wool right off its back. It's for the best. Clip, clip, clip. Oh, I don't know. The sheep doesn't seem to... The sheep has questions. Oh, I got the key. I got a key for the house. But this wasn't the sheep that had the key. This is the sheep that was on the island already. Shouldn't that have been the sheep with the key? What has happened? You're a good sport. Thank you. Well, aren't you feeling better? And it's much safer, too. And that key? I thought I had lost it. But it was stuck in your thick coat all this time. No, it wasn't. This isn't the same sheep. Spirit fair madness. <laughs> what a treat. As for you, Stella, I know you'll find a good use for this extra wool. It's one of my favorite materials. I chose it exclusively for all of my blankets. My husband, of course, always thought they were scratchy. <laughs> he was such a grump. Anyway, the sheep's wool will grow back very quickly, but only if it's well fed. And this one seems to have quite a large appetite. I suggest you diligently feed him. Well, you were calling him an it earlier, and now it's a him? Right? I didn't misread that. Well, good. I'm glad we dropped the it. I don't like it. Otherwise, he might get into your garden and destroy your crops. Oh, and I imagine building a sheep corral would help keep him in place. You should probably do that as soon as possible. For the good of the sheep. And of your crops. I, I did, but can it fit more than one sheep? Oh. I think we have a problem. You're joking, right? That sheep isn't going to go into my crops, right? Maybe we should build another sheep corral real fast. Yeah, let's just build a second sheep corral. We don't have enough planks. Better stay out of my crops, sheep. I'm working on it up here. Where did the sheep go? Oh good, they're, they're, they just they just pop themselves into the corral. Great, now we have two sheep corral. I love the placement of this one. It's all nice and wedged in there. I dislike the placement of this one, but it's what we have to work with. Okay, who's up for a little midnight burglary? Burglary. Burglary. There are some words I'm not very good at. In the dead of night. Stella returns to the house, key in hand. She looks around. No one's there. <laughs> she enters the house. It's less exciting than she thought. <laughs> but she's able to get a ceramic bowl and cherry seeds. Apparently I hadn't gotten this one either. And then, just as quickly, she's off into the darkness. All right, well, the question is, as ever, where to next? Before it becomes too dark to navigate, we should pick a destination. Uh, part of me wants to hit up all of these resource spots because I can't help myself. And it's too dark to navigate? <laughs> Shoot! Um, I think we should maybe do that, but also uh, pick one of those towns. There might be a shrine with like the obol thing there, and we can pick up another ability.
hedgehog? Wait, 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 wait. Is... <laughs> is she a hedgehog? I think she's a hedgehog. <laughs> it just hit me. Yeah, these things right here are been fantastic. So we just sort of give Francis pretty much everything we need in order to get all these glims and some extra like resources. And already I have 8,000 glims again. And I fell off the boat. Good day. Let's take a look at Alice for a second. I haven't actually gotten to know her yet. We don't know her favorite food. We don't know her likes. We don't know her dislikes. Um, she will cook for us. Oh, that's nice if she's feeling like it. And she takes out burnt food. Wait, we haven't been burning food. I thought the game wouldn't let me burn the food. Uh, something to think about for future. Let's figure out what she likes, though. Um, do you like shellfish? Uh, no, she does not like shellfish. That's fair. Oh, you know, I'm just trying to figure, you know, we're just trying to learn about you. Um, how about Summer's favorite dish? Do you like poached fruit? Oh, you must know I really love desserts of all kinds. Thanks a lot, Stella. You're more than welcome. So in that we have at least one thing that we know about her. She likes desserts. We don't know her favorite food, though. But she dislikes acquired taste foods. Very nice. We haven't hugged Alice yet either, so we should... Well, that was the door. But we should do that. <laughs> Alice! Um, you are a hedgehog, right? Hug? Oh, oh we get out to the we, we crouch down for her! Oh, that's so sweet! I wonder who Alice is. So, like, so far, right? We have found. Wait, hang on. I'm gonna, move, I'm gonna start moving the ship before I start monologuing or whatever. Rambling. Alright, that's better. So far, we have found three. Uh, spirits, right? Already. That we know are related to Stella. We have Summer, who knew our Aunt Rose. We have Gwen, our best friends. And we have our uncle. And it makes me wonder, are all of the spirits in this game somehow related to Stella? I'm kind of expecting them to be, and Alice is either going to make or break this theory. If they are all related to Stella, well, I have even further questions. Bye, Alex! <laughs> Whoa! Look at all that back there! That looks cool. Uh, oh, darn it, it's night again. <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? Well, you know what? No, I'm not going to embark in the middle of the night. I'm going to wait until day. I'll, I'll find some way to kill more time. Here we go. Uh, maybe I jumped the gun a little bit, but I got excited. <laughs> I slept until morning. We're here. Wherever this is, I forgot what the name of this place is already, but it's starting to get daylight. It's starting to get daylight. That's like a sentence. <laughs> it's sentence enough. Mm. I live a simple life. Okay. Mm. Hello to you too. Uh -huh. Where's my brother? He should be here. I don't know where your brother is, but can I sit in this chair? Oh, lovely. I didn't get to pet Daffodil in the last chair we sat in, so this is just making up for it. Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, the people in this place sure have a clipped dialogue, I guess. Hey, we found a spirit! What will you be? <laughs> Maybe a bat? I don't know, I'm thinking bat. There's, there's like little wings, like little tattered wings going on here, I think. Uh, let's figure out what their deal is. Uh -huh. Oh, what impeccable timing. I am in dire need of assistance. I can tell from your friendly and familiar face that you are undoubtedly the helpful type. Uh -huh. Listen, I'm looking to complete this set of five traditional woodprints. They date from the Ishiro period and as such are invaluable. I have found four of them, but alas, the last one uh -huh. eludes me. I am certain it's in this very village. Furthermore, I am absolutely positive that it was recently in the possession of the local shopkeeper, Theodore. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Theodore's here? Like the same Theodore? Or is it like an Officer Jenny from Pokemon situation? <laughs> okay. But he refuses to even acknowledge its existence. Uh -huh. What an irksome little man. Raccoon. Tanuki. Uh -huh. Whatever he is. <laughs> 
But with your help, yes. With that sweet little smile of yours and generally non-threatening oh. attitude, well, I'm sure you can smooth your way into acquiring that last precious piece. That would be the last missing piece of this slippery puzzle. Well, go ahead, Skipper. I can't wait. <laughs> um, again, this this whole idea of Stella having like a familiar face. Like, it's starting to look like, yeah, all the spirits might know Stella. Also, this house is locked. Where's the key? <laughs> we'll have to break in in the dead of night again. Where is that child? I've been looking all over for him. He's been acting all sorts of strange. I think he must have eaten a bad fruit or something. If you see him, tell him his mother is looking for him. Don't mention that I'm extremely mad. <laughs> okay. Hey. Well, hello there, customer. Is our catalog not to your satisfaction? Are you interested in some specialized oh. items? Oh, a wood print, you say? Yes, yes, I know of it. It sat in my special stock for an eternity, and then suddenly everybody was looking for it. At first, it was this pedantic person. Very rude. And worse, they were haggling on everything. I didn't even tell them of the print. Gave them some junk instead. And then later, this giant walrus lady came in and demanded that I sell it to her. The thought crossed my mind to start a bidding war, but she offered me some serious coin for it. That lady, let me tell you, she was loaded. <laughs> anyway, that's all I know about it. I can't help you with the print, but feel free to browse my wares. Okay. So we have to go find a walrus. That's gonna be fun, I think. Also, Theodore sells pork here. Do we want pork? I don't think so. Ooh, and we have a shrine. Well, how many obols? Two obols, and we get the ability to glide. We're gonna grab this right now. And again, whole flashing light thing, I'm probably gonna cut around it. So, yeah, sorry, it's just the way it's gotta be. So bright. All right. <laughs> now we can glide. Oh, we can finally use these things. Oh, look at this go. Oh, we're so high. Well, this is gonna be really useful, I think. And fun. Well, no walrus. I never want to go back home. Being here is sublime. If you want to stay at my place, you're more than welcome. Here's my key. If the door stays jammed, you just have to give it a good tug. It always gets stuck. I want to enjoy this view forever. Yeah. I can see why. Alright, I'm gonna go burgle your house. Ah, you're back. Did you manage to get the missing print? No. It was already sold? But how? Wait, is there a competing art collector roaming around? A walrus lady, you say? Uh -huh. Of course. Of course it was her. Uh -huh. Oh, that horrid woman. That dim-witted, egotistical, patronizing charlatan. She calls herself the collector, if you can believe it. Uh -huh. She doesn't even collect anything. Oh, I'm sure she bought the print only to spite me. I should have never told her about my collection. Oh, I'm not going to say that. That's too much character development. Uh -huh. Well, I'm not one to wave away competition. That ugly witch is in hiding. In hiding from you. Uh -huh. I don't specifically know why, but the news of a new spearfarer made her skitter away like a puny cockroach. Oh, my friend. You will understand. You will understand eventually. Yes, yes, you're the spirit fair. Oh. Tell me something I don't know. She should have known better than to tell me the location of her hideout, though. She's hiding at these coordinates. And when you see her, show her this figurine. She'll know. Believe me, she'll know. This? Oh, don't worry. It's just some junk Theodore gave me. A very quaint figurine. We can put that next to our favorite plastic lemon. All right, well, this place turned out to be different than I thought it would be. Wait, we can glide now. That's right. We're way less bound to the ground than we used to be. I'm still bad at it, though. Oh my gosh, am I bad at it. You look like you're on a mission. Let me guess. My mom sent you, right? It was a matter of time. I like being on this lamppost. I like taking my time. If that doesn't gel with my mom and her conception of time, well, too bad. Her house, her rules. I don't think so. 
I'm gonna go live in the mountains and not bother anyone. Let's see if she likes that. Hey ma'am, I don't really have the power to bring your kid back. The goats? What? The goats? The thin air? <laughs> My boy. <laughs> He really curses his family with your meddling. Why come here and terrorize us? I will not forget you. <laughs> okay. All right, enjoy your life in the mountains with the goats or something. <laughs> this place was weird. Well, we were given coordinates and in a matter of seconds, we're gonna get kicked out of this menu. Let's go get a tuna. I don't know what that's about, but let's go get a tuna. I'm guessing that just means I can fish for tuna. I can't do it. <laughs> I think my fishing rod overheats too much. Uncle? Help? Come hit it with your hammer? Oh. Actually, I think I can do this. I'm starting to learn something about the fishing rod here. Okay, go until it's red. Then I can do this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's wait. The moment it changes color. I don't have to wait until it's like perfectly yellow. I just have to wait until it's not as hot. I guess. Yeah, somehow this is working. Oh, I did it too much. No, I had it! No. Oh, one more, one more. No! I'm not leaving. Oh. I've not faced a foe this fierce since Ogdo Bogdo. I did it! I got the albacore tuna! Oh, it took all day. Uh, uncle, never, ever, 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 ever uh, say, why don't you fish sprout? I did, I fished an albacore! I can't cook it because they don't have the kitchen! Well, now that I spent all day trying to catch that tuna, uh, let's head to those coordinates. That will be the last thing I think we do today. Let's go ahead to negative 50, or negative 150, 150. Which is somewhere. I should know how this works. Yes, and then up. Oh, that's like really up here. Can I even- what is this blue line? Can I even go through it? Oh, is the blue ice? Oh, we need an icebreaker on our ship. Uncle, what do we do about this? <laughs> There's no where boat is getting through that. Maybe Albert has something in his arsenal. Oh. Some dynamite or something. Actually, I did see that Albert does in fact sell an icebreaker. <sighs> okay. I thought I would stand on this. <laughs> I am not only disappointed, I am cold. Alex, I need your magical services again. Incredible. Thank you, Alex. Oh. And Alice has something for us. You bake something for the crew. Rice pudding? Oh, that's exciting. I don't think I can make that right now. I, I haven't tried putting rice in our oven. Oh, but Summer's gonna love that. Albert. I don't I don't need the joke. No, I'm fine without the joke. Sawmills in the internet, I can log on, I got it, okay. <laughs> Let me spend money. Wait, I can't even buy the icebreaker. I don't have the linen fabric. Or whatever the heck a spirit flower is. <sighs> well, <laughs> this was disappointing. Um, yeah. So everyone, it seems like I've hit a bit of a snag. Uh, without being able to make fabric, I really can't make progress. 
And I'm not exactly sure how to make fabric. I am assuming it is an upgrade to the loom. Uh, I'm assuming Gwen has it, so I might have to go visit her manor after all. But if we could figure out how to do that, then we can sort of chase down two other spirits. This walrus lady and the whoever- Oh, my race is done. <laughs> um, yeah, and whoever else that was on that island. <sighs> so I guess that's the plan for next time. Maybe we check out the manor. Maybe we see if that has something to do with Gwen giving us an upgrade. I am all, I'm very scared of it. Also, I tried to feed Summer the rice pudding and um, yeah, I forgot it has milk in it. So she was not a fan. I know, I know, the rice is done. I'll get there soon. Anyway, everyone, <laughs> if you made it this far into the video, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And until I see you all next time, stay well. All right. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much.